Hey guys, welcome to the latest Z Code System video here. Drew speaking to you, and we're going to be talking about the World Cup once again as we get ready for the quarterfinals, which are coming up this weekend. They're going to be taking place on Friday, December the 9th, and Saturday, December the 10th. So a lot of big games going on, just uh, eight teams left in the tournament. We're almost down to the semifinals, as the World Cup has really just soldiered on and uh, it's been a bit of a blur over the last few weeks of all of the great soccer action that has gone on in the world cup as you can see there we've got the z code system blog right in front of you and we've got alberto's vlog part 19 went up the other day he's been there in qatar covering the world cup going around and watching games and he's been giving his tips uh through his vlog so definitely want to check that out and to see what Alberto has had to say for Z Code System. Some great stuff there. And of course, as always, uh, you can scroll through the blog and you can find all the different picks and blogs that we post here, such as the uh, NHL picks that we post weekly, as well as, if I keep going, we've got the NFL picks that we also post weekly. And I'm bringing to you today the uh, picks for the games coming up on Friday and Saturday in the World Cup quarterfinals. Of course, we'll have the semifinals and the finals later on uh, in the World Cup. But uh, yeah, we'll be covering these here in this video uh, as we hopefully prepare. Well, not hopefully, but we prepare to return to club soccer uh, again at the end of the month around Christmas time. And uh, we're going to be talking about this man here coming up in our video, Lionel Messi, as Argentina are trying to win a World Cup for Messi uh, before he potentially retires from international soccer. Uh, before we get on to the picks, I brought up uh, one of the online sports books that I use, Betway. Uh, of course, there are many other sports books out there, online sports books. So whichever one you use, you know, be sure to uh, check those odds out now uh, before uh, making any wagers. But uh, I thought I would bring up the World Cup 2022 tournament winner odds for the last eight teams in the tournament. We're done in the quarterfinals, as I said before. And as you can see, uh, Brazil remain the favorite at plus 175. Brazil have been the favorite since before the tournament kicked off. But again, always keep in mind, Brazil is the bookies' favorites every time we have a World Cup. Uh, it's just uh, one of those things where we always see uh, Brazil picked as the favorite. And a lot of people, because a lot of casual bettors, a lot of uh, bettors who don't necessarily follow international soccer, will be just wagering on uh, Brazil be based on the name, based on, on the players that they have in the past. Uh, they are five-time World Cup winners, but have not won it since 2020, uh, excuse me, since 2002. Now, France, who are the reigning World Cup winners, they are at plus 400. Argentina at plus 600. Now, I betted on, I, I backed Argentina at the start of the tournament. Uh, it looked like a bit of a mistake there with their first game, their loss to Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> they're lost to Saudi Arabia 2-1. Um, I'm not actually as high on Argentina now as I was uh, back before the tournament started. And we've got England at plus 650 and Portugal at plus 650. I'm actually quite high on this Portugal team right now after their 6-1 uh, win against Switzerland the other day in the last 16. I also am quite high on the Netherlands at plus 1600 as well. They uh, they look really good and I wouldn't be surprised if they shocked Argentina. We'll talk more about that in a second. And of course the long shots right now, Croatia and Morocco at plus 3300. Okay, so here is the Soccer Buddy tool. I love the Soccer Buddy tool, and I hope you do too. Uh, it is great to help you make smart wagers on soccer, uh, and uh, whether you want to go with the Soccer Buddy's picks and uh, prediction based on all the data it crunches, or if you just want to use this as just one of your tools to help you narrow down your ideas. So we've got Brazil and Croatia. They're going to be the opening game on Friday, and then Argentina and Netherlands will wrap things up in the evening. Brazil and Croatia uh, going to be playing this game. Uh, it's 2-1 score prediction from the Soccer Buddy tool. You know what? I think this game might be a little bit lower scoring uh, in this game. Uh, Brazil did break out for four uh, goals in their most recent game against South Korea. South Korea, though, were the weakest team in the round of 16. They barely got there uh, with a, a late win in the, the last group stage game against Portugal. I, I, I don't really fancy 
this to, to really have over 2.5 goals. But if you want to play it safe and you, you want to go with under uh, a bet on under 3.5 goals, I can understand that. Uh, but I do think Brazil can win this game against Croatia. Croatia have not necessarily played uh, the best football uh, at the tournament. Uh, two group stage games finishing nil-nil. Uh, they had three of four games at the tournament finish with under 2.5 goals. Uh, Brazil, they go into this game also having had Three games in the tournament end with under 2.5 goals. Again, they did break out for four goals against South Korea. I think that was a, a little bit of a, uh, an anomaly in that game. I think this is going to be a, quite a tight game, a close game, and I could actually see Brazil picking up a win here 2-0 uh, in the end. Now we go on to that Argentina versus Netherlands game. I actually really do like Netherlands to maybe pick up a win in this game uh, or to qualify. You might want to go for a bet to qualify rather than to win in this game. And I really think the Netherlands showed a lot of, of great tactical awareness and nuance against the United States. And I could see them playing well defensively and hitting Argentina on the counterattack and winning this game. I think both teams will, uh, for large parts of this game, uh, back off and defend. Argentina showed that they were willing to defend in their uh, previous games, in their group stage games. They had that nightmare against Saudi Arabia, yes. Uh, and to be honest, I really think that in the three uh, games after that, Messi really, uh, Lionel Messi, that is, uh, really pulled them through. Uh, I don't know if this Argentina is actually that good. And this is their first time to play a top-tier European team, which could be trouble. And I could see this game finishing 0-0 or 1-1 at the end of 90 minutes and going on to extra time. Now, like I said before, you may want to select a to qualify win, uh, so excuse me, a to qualify bet because that would cover three potential uh, areas. It would cover uh, uh, the winning uh, to win in 90 minutes, to win in extra time, or to win on penalties. And uh, this is going to be a close cut game in my opinion. And I wouldn't be surprised to see the Netherlands pick up a win here uh, with this uh, with this game, and I wouldn't be surprised to see um, them do it in extra time or on penalties. So I would be backing this game to be under 2.5 goals and potentially a draw at full time. Uh, and again, I like the Netherlands to uh, to qualify for the semifinals. All right, let's look at the final day of quarterfinal matches, which is Saturday, the 10th of December, and we've got Portugal and Morocco and France and England. Looking at Portugal and Morocco first. Uh, Portugal, I really like in this game. Morocco are a very defensive team. Uh, they've needed their defense to get to the stage in the World Cup. Um, they they went to penalties with Spain in the last round, the round of 16, after a nil-nil draw, uh, and then they, they won it on penalties. Um, and to be honest, Spain did have a, a few better chances in that game as the game wore on and probably should have won it uh, before it got to penalties. Uh, Morocco do not have a great attack. They don't put away their chances and I see Portugal winning this game. I don't see a 1-1 draw here in this match. Uh, I see Portugal winning this game and I wouldn't be surprised to see Portugal win with both teams not scoring. Portugal to win to nil at the end of 90 minutes. Cristiano Ronaldo was benched uh, for Portugal in their most recent match. The uh, 6-1 winning Switzerland. Uh, his replacement, Goncalo Ramos, uh, came on and scored a hat-trick in that game. So don't expect to see Ronaldo start uh, in this match. And um, Portugal looked like a well-oiled machine uh, going into the quarterfinals. Now, the final game of the quarterfinals is France and England. Big match between two old rivals. And a game that I'm really excited for. Uh, I, I think this is a very evenly matched team. Uh, excuse me, a very evenly, evenly matched game. Uh, France do have the current leading tournament goal scorer in Kylian Mbappe. He's got five goals. He's having a fantastic tournament. And I think will probably be uh, player of the tournament if Lionel Messi does not win the World Cup. Uh, I think he will be the player of the tournament. Uh, but I think England do have the players who can stop uh, Mbappe and I think if England uh, attack France, I think that will that will take uh, the initiative away from France, and I think it will be England's best defense uh, in this game. England did win three nil against Senegal in the previous round. Uh, it ended up being a bit of an easy win, although England did kind of labor uh, early on. But I think if if Gareth Southgate plays a the same team or a, a similar team, I would stick with the same team. I think that England can. Uh, get something out of this game. And I wouldn't be surprised if it did finish at 1-1 at full time and 
extra time was needed uh, in this game. I think this will be a very close game between these two teams. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here on the YouTube video. You can always go back and check the blog out on the Z Code System website. Uh, get a lot more information that I wrote there uh, for the upcoming round of games. Let me know who you are backing uh, in these games in the quarterfinals in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. Subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on everything we post here. Hit the thumbs up like this. And if you can, share on social media to let your friends know uh, what we're doing here at Z-Code System. And of course, if you haven't signed up, you may want to go ahead and do that before the uh, quarterfinal, semifinals, and final get going underway and uh, stick around with Z-Code System to stay up to date with all these tools, using all these tools to wager on all the other great soccer leagues going on around the world. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Good luck with your betting in the quarterfinals, and I will see you here next time on Z-Code System.